This is the solution to quiz four. Okay, so the first question is to compute natural domain. So in order to do this, we need to factor uh, the expression completely. So the numerator is al already factored. The denominator, can we think of two numbers whose product is negative 40 and whose sum is 3? Uh, how about... Mm, let's see, well... 2 and 20? No. How about 4 and 10? No. How about 5 and 8? Okay, 5 and 8 will work. So then we'll need x plus 8 multiplied by x minus 5. So now, this means that the natural domain is all x except x is negative 8 or x is 5, which when plotted looks like this, and when written in interval notation that's negative infinity to, neg to negative 8. Union negative eight to five, union five to infinity. <coughs> so that's the answer. And I'll say note part of this the design of this exercise, it was trying to see if I could uh, tempt you into making that cancellation. So if you were to continue and write 1 over x plus 8, which is to say if you were to make that cancellation, if you were to make that cancellation, then this uh, expression can be evaluated at 5, whereas this one, and notably the one that I asked you about, cannot be evaluated at 5. So this uh, is a place where you can get into error. So remember that cancellation can modify the natural domain. So that is the answer. Similarly, for part B, there's two requirements. As for the numerator, we need the argument to the radical to be non-negative, which is to say 4x minus 12 must be greater or equal to 0. So 4x must be greater or equal to 12. So x must be greater or equal to 3. The denominator, if it has any requirements, they can be found through factoring it. So can we think of two numbers whose product is 21 and whose sum is negative 10? Sure. How about x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 7. So the denominator is any x except x is 3 and x is 7. <coughs> okay. So taking these together The numerator requirement is that x is greater or equal to 3.
the denominator requirement is anything but but these. So drawing this, the numerator could be three and anything greater. The denominator is anything except, so this is a three, the denominator could be anything except a three or a seven. Otherwise, it could be anything in between. And what we need is we need to have both. So back here, we have only a green. So that's not in both not in the intersection. Here we lose uh, a green, so we don't have a red and a green. And then to the right here, we have red and green, and then we're missing a 7, so we don't get 7, but then we have red and green from then on. So the answer in blue is 3 to 7 not including 3 not including 7 and written in interval notation that's 3 to 7 union 7 to infinity okay Question two, simplify, ignoring domain considerations. OK. So in the first place, uh, let's factor the, the two bits that are easy to factor. So that's easy to factor, the denominator. That one is easy to factor, that denominator. The two numerators uh, require a little bit of work. So this would be just leaving those numerators for a moment. 6x squared plus 23. 3x plus 7 and then that factors as what? x plus 5 times x minus 3 and then divide 2x squared minus 7x minus 15 over x plus 5 times x minus 5. OK, now let's factor this one. So we want two numbers whose product is 6 times 7, which is 42, and whose sum is 6 plus 7, which is 13. Oh no, what am I saying? Whose sum um, is 23, the middle number. Okay, so then how about um, 2 and 21? Okay, that'll work. So that means that we're going to take 6x squared, and we're going to split the 23 into 2 and 21. So that would be plus 2x plus 21x uh, plus 7. And then <coughs> uh, here's four terms. We can make two groups of 2 and factor out the greatest common factor out of each group. So that would be 2x multiplying by 3x plus 1 and then plus 7 multiplied by 3x plus 1 
we got 3x plus 1 twice, so that means we probably did that part right. So 2x plus 7 times 3x plus 1. Then the other quadratic, we want two numbers whose product is 2 times negative 15, so negative 30, and whose sum is negative 7. So how about negative 10 and 3? That'll do. So that works. So then we're going to take 2x squared and we're going to split that negative 7 into negative 10 and positive 3. So minus 10x plus 3x minus 15. And then <coughs> we'll factor out the greatest common factor. So 2x uh, and then x minus 5 plus 3 times x minus 5. We got x minus 5 twice. That's good. So then that will be 2x plus 3 times x minus 5. So now what that tells us how to continue to here, combining combining these two. So that'll give us 2x plus 7 times 3x plus 1 divided by x plus 5 times x minus 3 and then all of that divided by 2x plus 3 x minus 5 over x plus 5 times x minus 5. <coughs> so the first thing I'll note is that um, this x minus 5 can cancel with that x minus 5. So I'll do that now. And I'll also reciprocate uh, the right hand side. So then we'll get 2x plus 7 times 3x plus 1 x plus 5 times x minus 3 now multiplied by, we cancel the x minus 5's and then we get x plus 5 over 2x plus 3 now this x plus 5 will cancel with that x plus 5. And then all that remains is 2x plus 7 times 3x plus 1. That x plus 5 is canceled. That x plus 5 is canceled. x minus 3. 2x plus 3. So to be clear, this bit oh, ran under green, do it in blue. This bit went here, and this bit went here. Okay, and then question three. Press the following as a single fraction. Okay. So what we need to do is factor each of these. So how about x plus 3 times x minus 1 for that first one, and then plus 5 over uh, x plus 2 times x minus 1. So now you can see that these are the same. So that's good. And then these 
are different. So this term is missing an x plus 2, and this term is missing an x plus 3. So x plus 3 times x minus 1. And again, this one, <coughs> this term is missing an x plus 2. So I'll put an x plus 2. But then, to undo that, put an x plus 2 there. And then plus 5 over x plus 2 times x minus 1. And this term is missing an x plus 3. So then I put it there, and to undo it, x plus 3. And now these two have the same factors in their denominators. They both have x plus 3, they both have x plus 1, or x minus 1, and they both have x plus 2. So that means that we can add these two together. So that will be x times x plus 2 plus 5 times x plus 3 all over the same denominator. So x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 1. And then we can simplify this a little bit maybe. So that'd be x squared plus, well, that'd be 2x plus 5x is 7x. And then plus 15. x plus 3, x plus 2, x minus 1. And then this uh, does not factor uh, over the integers because there's no numbers, no integers whose product is 15 and whose sum is 7. So um, we won't get any further cancellation, and that's the answer.